Andrea, thank you so much for being a part of the Teddy Award this year. Thanks for having me. Um, can you start by giving a bit of an introduction to the work that you do? Uh, I have a background in film studies, but I've been working for a Human Rights Film Festival for the past 12 years. So I've been on the festival circuit, uh, not exactly in the queer circuit, but uh, of course there's a lot of overlap. And uh, being a queer woman myself, of course, this is also content that I bring into my own festival. Because as we all know, queer rights are, are human rights as well. And uh, we're always looking for interesting content. So. And you've been the director of the Nuremberg uh, Human Rights Film Festival for, for a while now. I wondered if you'd seen any developments over the last few years or any trends as to what kind of films are being submitted. And do you think that's reflective of, of the reality at the moment? Uh, I think what's happening is a lot more films are being submitted. Uh, a lot more people make films. It's becoming cheaper and cheaper to do them, to do them semi-professionally. The film schools are just, you know, spitting out people. Um, Lots and lots of films reaching us, but uh, it also means there's a, actually there's a bit of an, of an overflow of, I, I think, decent productions that are not so interesting. And I feel there's a lot of um, things are moving into more of an issue-based uh, direction, um, which sometimes neglects the filmmaking a little bit, I'm afraid. So I think in the, in the queer realm, I find a lot of either romance or just sex, like positive stories about our community, but or issue-based films, but sometimes I miss a little bit. It's not like a huge bulge of quality also comes out of this. So I think uh, the, the best films stay about the same percentage, and it's just much more underbelly that we have now. Yeah. And I wondered how you think that your background will help you in the Teddy making decisions? Well, I guess um, I, I was certainly I have a political eye on things. It's very important for me, the filmmaking, that the filmmaking itself is political, not an issue or I don't think just the depiction of something is is, is political it's uh, the way how you portray it that's certainly a focus that I have in my work and that's the way that I look at films other than that I just hope that uh, I mean I've been I've been in love with films since I was four and uh, a lot of passion for films but also a huge amount of films I've seen in my life and uh, always having to make decisions because I'm also a programmer so I hope that's something that I can bring to this yeah and is there anything you're particularly looking for from the Teddy films this year or that you've already been struck by from the films you've seen? Well, of course, as a festival director myself, I'm always having an eye out for content for my own festival. Um, I'm still looking, but I think in documentaries especially, there's some interesting stuff there. Um, what I haven't seen yet is, is something that's very, that's very playfully queer, which is what I'm looking for. I also want fun. I would love to see more films that combine the political and the, the, the fun, the exuberant aesthetic that, that uh, is often not connected in people's minds with political films, but you know, just, just having fun and being joyful, uh, that itself can sometimes be political, and I'm waiting for those films. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us today, and good luck with, with making all your decisions. Thank you.